Since a good portion of the United States is experiencing blizzard 2016, we are gonna make chicken soup for dogs, which is really cool because at the same time, we can make chicken soup for us. What do you think? Want some chicken soup? Let's do it. We're going to the snow dogs. So the first thing you're gonna need for chicken soup for your dogs is chicken. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use leftover chicken as long as it doesn't have a lot of seasonings on it. What I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna use a whole chicken. Why am I doing that? Because I'm gonna make chicken soup for the dogs and chicken soup for us. So we're gonna use a whole chicken and I'm gonna cook it in the crock pot. So basically what I'm gonna, you can't lick that. <laughs> no, you can't lick that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm not gonna add any seasonings to it. And I'm going to cook it in the slow cooker for about six hours on high. The second thing we're gonna do is wash and peel all of our veggies. Want that green bean? You can have it. See you later. <laughs> all right, now as you can see, we really do have two pans here. I'm not kidding. I'm actually making chicken soup for the dogs and chicken soup for us at the same time. This is the greatest thing about this recipe. So now that we have all of our vegetables washed while the chicken is still cooking in the slow cooker, we're gonna chop up some of our vegetables and put it into these pans. So the first thing we're gonna add is carrots because carrots are good for dogs. Carrots are good for people too. Oh, you want a carrot? Hold on. <laughs> are you just balancing there? There we go. Has a carrot? Does Oakley like a carrot? Oakley says, I'll take a carrot. Now for Shelby, who I know will not eat the carrot. There you go. She won't do it. She'll eat them cooked, she'll eat them with dip, she won't eat them by themselves. So we're gonna chop up some carrots. For those of you wondering how many carrots to use, we have three dogs, so we use three carrots. Of course, Memphis is trying to steal some. <laughs> Watch this, ready? You're gonna catch them as they fall? You got one. <laughs> so now we have carrots and dogs and carrots and ours. On to the next thing. So for the dogs, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of sweet potato to their soup. Let's see if they like it raw. I know Memphis will. I'll, I'll eat anything. You want some? Okay, we'll try it. How about you, Shelby? Shelby, here. Here, Shelby. Shelby's like, mmm, not a fan. Not a fan of raw veggies. Now I'm not adding this to our soup, just the dogs. <laughs> no, 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 Can't just steal it all, it has to go in your soup. So I cut the sweet potato up into little cubes and now I'm putting it in the dog's bowl. Now we're gonna add a little bit of celery. And as always you guys, if you don't feel comfortable feeding something your dogs that we put in our recipes, you don't have to. If you don't wanna put celery in it, don't put celery in it. If you don't wanna put carrots in it, don't put carrots in it. You can modify them any way you want. Now we're not gonna use a lot of celery for the dogs, just about one stalk. And now we've added a little bit of celery to the dogs and a little bit of celery to our own and now we're gonna add something just a little bit more special for the dogs. <laughs> We're gonna add some green beans. Would you like a green bean? Memphis will take a green bean. How about you, Oakley? You want a green bean? Oakley will take a green bean. How about you, Shelby? Wanna try a raw green bean? Would you like a raw green bean? Would, would you like it? Nope, how about you? Shelby doesn't like raw green beans either. Looks so good for the dogs, we added some to ours too. So as of right now, the recipes for the two are fairly close to the same. The biggest difference is when it comes to seasoning your soup. Now, you can use chicken base in the dog's version of the soup, but make sure that you check your ingredients and make sure that it does not contain garlic or onion. So you basically, I use Miner's chicken base. You can get it at like Gordon food stores, I believe. Um, and you don't need a lot, literally just a little bit. You just wanna give them that little bit of chicken flavor. Now with the dogs, we're gonna add some of the broth um, from the actual chicken that we cooked in the slow cooker. So for right now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to this and a little tiny bit of this. I'll show you how much I'm gonna use. And then when the chicken's all done cooking, we're gonna add some of that actual chicken broth to this soup as well. Now for the dogs, we're just gonna add a little bit of this water. It's just water, Memphis. About that much. That's it, that's all we're adding to the dogs. A little stir it in there. Oh, it's still gotta cook. Just gonna give it a little bit extra of a chickeny 
flavor, but you, they don't need a lot. And really, if you don't want to use it at all, you don't have to. Now we're going to set this aside while we wait for the chicken to finish. But for the people chicken soup, I am going to add a little bit of garlic salt, which I do not add to the dogs, just the people chicken soup. Now I'm actually going to put both of these on the stove top and simmer them very low for about an hour while the chicken finishes cooking. That's going to help slowly start to cook all those vegetables that are in here. And then after that, when the chicken's done, we'll add the chicken. All right, so Shelby will not eat one of these plain, but she will. And she will. Here. We put some dip on Shelby's. Here you go, you want one with peanut butter? Oh, now it's delicious. What a diva. Are you helping, Shelby? You're such a good helper. Oh, look at all the good helpers. So now the chicken is cooked. As you can see, I literally just turned this off. So I'm gonna pull the chicken out and let it cool a little bit. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna skim all of the fat off of the top of this juice. And I'm gonna take all of the skin off of the chicken. And then I'm gonna take some of the juice and I'm gonna put it in with the rest of the soup. All right, now we have a little bit of that broth from the slow cooker and we're gonna pour it right into the dog's soup. Really? Are you excited? All right, so, yeah, you're excited too, huh? The girls are extremely excited. Um, this, I know. This is the broth and the vegetables mixed together. And then now we're gonna add in the chicken. This is the chicken I made in the crock pot. There, very nice. Don't be so grabby. There you go. Shelby's like, me. There you go. So we're gonna add the chicken to the soup. And then, no, it's not done yet. Stir it up a little bit. Stir it up a little bit. Hi, Shelby. Would you like to check out what's going on? <laughs> So now we have doggy chicken soup and what we're actually going to do with this is use it as a topper for their dog food. All right, so now we have each of their food dishes and we're going to scoop a little bit on each dish. So now we're going to take the rest of it and put it in the fridge and we'll be able to use it again tomorrow. I do it about once a day and then sometimes I freeze a little bit to use later, but we're going to we're going to see if they like it. I can't, I can't really tell if they're excited. Are you excited? Ah, 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 you gotta wait! Oakley first. <laughs> no, Oakley is first. Delby. And then Memphis. <laughs> there you have it. Another fun dog treat. I guess this is a meal topper, you could call it. I think uh, the girls are super excited. Now I just gotta finish making noodles and then their daddy and I can enjoy our dinner. So we hope you guys enjoyed this fun treat video, a way to share dinner with your dogs. As always, there will be a link up in the cards for more of our videos and a link down in the video description below for more of our treat videos. Check them out. Um, if you have any ideas for something you'd like to see us try next time, leave it down in the comments below. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye! Your girl's got really quiet, I, I wonder why. <laughs>